hey, hey. Spring La Faye, Simply Tarot, special message. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius in your birth chart, this could be a reading for you. All of my readings are timeless. I want to take away what resonates, leave the rest behind. Let's see what we get for Sagittarius. May we have one spirit, please. May we have the one, please, spirit. May we have the one for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. There it is. Message in the bottle. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Are your angels trying to tell you something? May we have one spirit? May we please have one for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius, may we please have it? There it is. Communion. Eagle. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Okay, I feel like that um, your angels are trying to tell you something. Uh, this could, you know, you could get get synchronicity messages by seeing birds or eagle, in fact. Or I feel like a large bird. It could be a hawk, raven. Hmm. Because if you look, you have a larger bird here. You have a larger bird there. But I feel like that there's some message. And this also could come through sleep. Could come through uh, dreams. You know, you could come into communion and really get those messages. This also could be through prayer or meditation. Or even, even in a place of worship. Uh, maybe where you get this this communication from, you know, higher power. This meta this message coming to you. Sagittarius, please. Spirit for Sagittarius, please. Spirit for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Okay. Someone feels very limited. They felt like they had it all at one point in time. They had this new beginning, this wonderful beginning, this uh, having all the love in the world, having the perfect lover, having all these beautiful things happening, all these choices in their life, and then something just fell apart. It, it just fell apart. and it. But it feels like that... Um, I'm telling you, it feels like this is an apology coming from somewhere. Hmm. Somebody wanting to say they're sorry? Spirit, tell me more. Somebody wanting to say they're sorry? Yeah, this has to do with relationship. Someone wanting to apologize about, it feels like, the ending of her marriage. That's what this feels like. The hair font there. The Three of Wands. Ooh, I don't know what to say. It's like, it's almost like they feel bad for what they've done. 
but it's almost too to the point where they feel like they have to um like they are very on guard and defensive and honestly though i get that they messed up this person messed up they made decisions that did not did not fulfill a relationship you know and i feel like this is either ended in divorce or it's going to end in divorce for some for some it's just ended and you know it feels like there's love here but someone just don't know what to do they honestly don't know what to do oh my goodness what to do 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 it's on the bottom yeah right there be happy you know be grateful for what you have um stand your ground you know we got seven of wands again you know stand your ground and stand in your truth whoever you are standing your truth you know um it feels like this person messed up they messed the heck up now you may still be in love with them you may not but they messed up they want to apologize but they don't know how um they i feel like for some for someone you may be dealing with a um, pathological liar someone that they're sorry but yet they just i don't know they just can't they just can't can't say they're sorry they they have to come up with something cherry is moving forward and i feel like whoever i'm talking to you know that's moving forward i feel like honestly being single so you know it doesn't mean staying single but i feel like it, it you know it's being single and for this time being standing strong and trying you know honestly wanting what's best and you may even have love for this person and i feel like there's going to be some form of communication so there is going to be communication but there was pain involved with the ten of swords there was pain involved and i feel like you're the one that endured that pain whomever i'm talking to got your heart broke well, this person is watching. They're definitely watching. You know, it feels like, um, honestly, it feels to me like this person has held their seat open. They've held the seat open. They may have, you know, been pondering around with other people, uh, going out, possibly even living with someone. But as far as, like, getting really deeply involved with someone else i feel like they're not done that you're holding that seat open i feel like this is you being the empress i feel like being at that point where you know you know your worth and your value and you're just not putting up with the crap and i feel like you're going to be seeing clearly you're going to see clearly about this whole thing yeah Let's see what the romance angels have to say. May we have one, please? May we have one, please? May we have one, please? Sagittarius, please. Or Sagittarius.
Hmm. I don't feel like this one belongs. I feel like it fell out by mistake. Okay, we're going to have to do this differently. They're going to make me pick. They're going to make me pull. That's exactly what they're doing. Center. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together in passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, if you haven't um, been calling in a soulmate, I feel like for some of you that's what you need to do. I really do. But for some of you this person is going to come back into your life. And for some of you it's going to work. You're going to make it work together. But that's what I have for you. If this doesn't resonate just leave it. But have an awesome awesome day. Bye.